Welcome back. This is Mr. Weissert again. We're going to be going over question three from the Math 1 release items, Calculator Interactive. And this one is a pretty straightforward one. We want to find the equivalent expression to x plus 2 times 3x minus 3. And you have some answer choices. So what should you do before you watch me go over it? Hey, you guessed it. Pause this video and try it on your own. Do that first. You didn't pause it, did you? Pause it. All right. Here we go. Well, in this question here, um, there really are no shortcuts. We don't have a calculator. We just have to multiply these two expressions together. You may have learned the box method, or you may have learned to FOIL, or just the more general distribute. Um, all of these will be fine. So whatever method works best for you, you do that. Um, probably what you want to do if you're not the best at these is to make yourself a two by two box. At the top of the boxes, we'll put one of the binomials. So this is going to be x plus 2. Make sure you put the correct signs. And then the other one is going to be 3x minus 3. Notice that I put the negative with that 3. And then we're going to multiply. So the rule rules for multiplying variables are if you multiply 3x times x, that's saying 3 times x squared. So these really have like uh, exponents of 1, and those ones get added. So 3 times x squared. That's going to go right here. When I'm doing 3x times 2, that's going to be 3 times 2. So that's 6x. Same thing here. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And then finally, negative 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6, so one of those being negative is going to make that negative 6. So you get all those terms in there, and then you can um, combine anything that you have as like terms. Like terms, of course, are going to be terms that have the same variable with the same exponent. In this case, the x is, have an exponent of 1. So this is negative 3x and positive 6x. That's like saying 6x minus 3x, if you want to think of it as a subtraction, and that's going to give you 3x. So 6x minus 3x is 3x. Um, at the end, we're going to have negative 6. That does not have its own, that's its own thing. So we don't have anything to combine that with. And of course, we have 3x squared, 3x to the second power. That's its own thing as well. So 3x squared plus 3x minus 6. Um, that is your answer. I'm trying to think, is there a way you can do this without doing that? Uh, I don't think it's going to be any, any less work, um, but maybe you could pick a point. Um, so a value for x. So write that down. And then if you want to stick around for another method, listen. All right. So the second method, uh, and I, and again, I wouldn't do this unless you're just desperate, um, would be just to pick a value for x. So let's say, I don't know, two. So let's say plug in a value, plug in two, for example. Since you don't have a calculator, you want to plug in things that are easier to do. So this is going to be 2 plus 2, and 3 times 2 minus 3. So that's going to be 2 plus 2 times 3 times 2 minus 3. And that's going to be 4 times 3 times 2 is 6. Order of operations, we should do what's in parentheses first. So that's 4 times 6 minus 3, which is 3. And that's going to give you 4 times 3, which is 12. Okay, what do I do with this information? Well, hopefully only one of your answer choices gives you 12 when you plug in 2. So let's see if that is the case. So if I do 3 times 2 squared minus 6, that's 3 times 4 minus 6. That's 12 minus 6. That's 6. No. 3 times 2 squared plus 3 times 2 minus 6. That's going to be 3 times 4. 12 plus 3 times 2. 6 minus 6. 6 and minus 6 cancel out. You're left with 12. 12 is the answer. But the catch is sometimes that doesn't always work. So test it in the other ones. So 3 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 minus 6. That's 3 times 4. We already know that's going to be 12 plus 12 
minus 6. Well, that's 24 minus 6, which is 18. So no good on that one. And then finally, 3 times 2 squared plus 9 times 2 minus 6. That's going to be, once again, 12 plus 18 minus 6. Um, 12 plus 18 is going to be 30 minus 6 is 24. Now, I don't know about you, but that kind of annoyed me to do that. I was trying to think of a different approach. That seemed to be more work than it was worth. So I would really uh, do method one, learn how to multiply binomials together using a box method. And if you don't want to use the box method, just do FOIL or distribute, and you should be fine. All right, thank you for watching.